Do you love dairy products, but they do not love you back? Today we'll discuss lactose intolerance and what you could do about it. I'm Nurse Wong, and this is Butt Talks. Gather around, everybody. I have a little story to share. Once upon a time, there was a little Buddy. Mama and Papa Buddy were health fanatics who never let little Buddy eat anything with sugar or dairy products. One hot summer's day, when little Buddy was six years old, his best friend Cheeky said, It's so hot today. Let's go get a big ice cream cone. Buddy, not wanting to seem weird, went along with Cheeky and ordered a huge cone with three scoops of ice cream. Little Buddy loved the taste of the cold, sweet ice cream and quickly gobbled it up. However, within 45 minutes of finishing, his tummy was upset and he had a lot of gas and later had diarrhea. At first, Little Buddy was afraid of being punished for disobeying his parents. But after a visit with the family doctor, he soon learned out he was lactose intolerant. What is lactose intolerance? It's a common disorder of the digestive system affecting approximately 65% of the world's population. If you're lactose intolerant, you have problems digesting lactose, a sugar in dairy products. You are missing lactase, an enzyme in the small intestine that breaks lactose into two sugars, glucose and galactose. Within 30 minutes to two hours, after eating or drinking dairy products, you may develop symptoms just like Buddy, abdominal discomfort with bloating, diarrhea, and gas. Can your ethnic heritage be related to lactose intolerance? Yes, it can, especially if your ancestry is African, Hispanic, or Latino, or East Asian. This is due to the genetic makeup of these ethnicities. Are you lactose intolerant, like little Buddy? If your symptoms resolve after eliminating lactose from your diet, then you've confirmed it. If not, there are some tests you can take to determine if you are. The hydrogen breath test can determine if you have malabsorption of lactase in your small intestine. Based on the results from the hydrogen breath test, an intestinal biopsy can confirm lactase deficiencies. Another one is the stool acidity test. This test determines if your stool is acidic due to lactose intolerance. Lastly, a genetic test can be performed. We've linked 23andMe genetic tests in the description below. There are four types of lactose intolerance. Number one, primary lactose intolerance. If you have primary lactose intolerance, the onset typically occurs in early childhood or adulthood. The amount of lactase in your small intestine declines with aging. Here are some Butt Talks TV tips to managing primary lactose intolerance. First, abstain from consuming any milk products unless they are lactose-free. An example is lactose-free milk and ice cream. Some other substitute for dairy products are soy-based, rice, and oat-based, and many nut-based milks such as almond and coconut milk. Second, avoid foods with dairy additives. Make sure to read the ingredients on the label first. Third, try to use lactase enzyme supplements if you don't want to give up dairy completely. They should not be taken on an empty stomach since they may upset your stomach. Be sure to take enzyme supplements with your first bite of food. They should be taken every time you consume anything containing dairy products. I will leave a link in the description below of my favorite digestive enzyme supplements. Also, be sure to watch our video on my favorite digestive supplements. Lastly, some people can progressively consume small amount of dairy products into their diet each day. This helps your digestive system readapt to dairy consumption. For example, consume small amounts of yogurt with live lactobacilli bacteria to help you digest just lactose and dairy products. However, this technique does not work for everybody. Number two, secondary lactose intolerance. 
damaged tissue in the small intestine from infection, celiac disease, irritable bowel disease, or other gut disorders can cause secondary lactose intolerance. If lactose intolerance is due to celiac disease, your symptoms will typically improve after starting a gluten-free diet. For more information, watch our video on how to manage celiac disease. For more serious diseases such as Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, or acute gastroenteritis, consult with your GI physician and a nutritionist for the best way to manage your symptoms. Number three, developmental lactose intolerance. Developmental lactose intolerance occurs in premature babies. This usually improves or resolves on its own as the child's immune system develops. If it doesn't resolve, then lactose avoidance and non-dairy substitutes are necessary. Consult with a pediatrician for more information. Number four, congenital lactose intolerance. This is an extreme rare genetic disorder where little lactase or none is produced in the body from birth. These cases are primarily found in Finland. Congenital lactose intolerance can be managed solely by using products such as soybean-based infant formula and lactose-free dairy products for the entire lifespan of the person. Today, with so many lactose-free alternatives available, you no longer have to suffer the uncomfortable effects of lactose intolerance like little buddy. Please leave a like and subscribe to Butt Talks TV. Trust me, your butt will thank you. If you like our video, press the like button below. Comment on what you would like to learn about next. For more tips and tricks from Butt Talks, subscribe to our channel. Have a great group day.